I've been with the Longmont Police Department for almost nine years. When I first heard about restorative justice, uh, I was a little leery of the program. Um, I was a new officer and uh, just out of the academy ready to hit the ground and go out and, you know, protect people, arrest people, send them all to jail. That was my job. If you violate the law, you go to jail. The first time I did restorative justice, um, my, my eyes were kind of open to the process and it really had an impact on me. It was several juveniles, uh, about six to eight, um, that had broken into an old chemical factory um, here in Longmont. And uh, as I was you know, working the night shift like all the, the new officers do, um, I came upon an open door and I saw bodies running from me. And they ran off into a field and I, as a new officer I chased um, because that's what we do. And at the time I, I saw these boys in the field, they were hiding in the grass, tall grass, so I couldn't see these bodies. I just knew there were six to eight. Um, to me, bad guys out in the field, um, and the dogs were coming, um, my gun was out, ready for someone to jump up and try and do something to me, so at that point, someone could have got severely injured, either by me with my gun, um, by any other use of force, um, or with the dog biting them. Um, eventually, I had them all stand up and give up, and I realized, oh my gosh, you know, here I am, I'm out with these, you know, 10 to 13 year old boys, and I thought, but gosh, they, they've all committed felonies, they've all committed burglary from what they did inside the building. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, 10 to 13, I don't, I don't want to start these guys, you know, with a felony criminal record. Um, so I thought our Longmont um, restorative justice program. Um, so I put them through the process and that's what really, you know, opened my eyes to what the program was like. And at that point it was scheduled for what we had or called the circle process. Um, at that point I was like, a circle process, <laughs> you know, what exactly is that going to mean? Is that where we all get together in a circle and we hug each other? I'm not, I'm not good with that, um, you know, I'm a new police officer. Um, so we went to the circle process and uh, I was expecting um, pretty much that I would sit there and I would be the, you know, kind of the hardline cop and say, you know, you boys are bad, you did a bad thing. Um, I'm cutting you a break by sending you here to this, you know, circle process and saving you. It, but it didn't turn out to be that way at all. Um, it was completely different from what I expected. Um, when it was over with, or actually during the, during the circle, when I had my time um, to speak, um, I kind of surprised myself because I wasn't in that authoritative role. It was more of a, um, educating the kids and uh, to a great degree their parents because their parents were there also. These boys could have gotten severely injured inside the building because it was a chemical factory. They actually made gold-plated components um, for the aerospace industry. So in doing that they had large vats of hydrochloric acid inside. So the building was basically a, a biohazard building. But once I explained that the bad things that could have happened, uh, the ter parents were in tears and actually thanking us for, for it turning out the way it did and not the terrible way it could have. So it made a major impact on everybody. Yeah, I came to see the restorative justice process um, as a, a very positive thing, something um, that I could use, um, especially as I went, got on more and more in my career. I would start to see people who would violate the law, criminals, people I would arrest, and I would see the same people over and over again, to the point where you start to know their names. Um, and the kids and the people that I dealt with in the restorative justice, I wouldn't see them again. Or if I did, it was more of a drive-by and a wave. Um, but I started to see it more as a tool to help the people that needed help because they essentially just needed an education. They needed to see how what they did affected more than I broke the law, I got probation. You know, they go into the court system, um, they're, they either have a plea deal or they go through a trial and if they're found guilty or they, they plead guilty to the charge, then a lot of the times they'll, they'll go into probation and they'll go through the probation process and have community service um, and once they satisfy that and satisfy the terms of their probation, they'll be done. You know, with restorative justice, they still have a, a process they have to go through and it's a process that can take, you know, several months. You know, after the circle, we, we determine, okay, what's going to make this right? You know, everybody in the circle, everybody that was affected by it says, how are we going to make this right? And we come to an agreement with the, the subjects that are in there that are a part of that circle that, okay, this is what you have to do. So they do have a process, but they're not going into the process of, say, that same kid who did the, the graffiti um, may go out and help clean up a park take an active role and actually instead of destroying his community he realizes I can help make my community better but because he's going into that where he may have a few hours he has to spend at the park not as a, this is my punishment 
it's uh, more of, okay, I, I did something wrong. I now understand that it, it's not just a wall, but it was the community I affected and there were people involved. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give back. I'm going to make it better. In the restorative justice process, people have to take responsibility for what they did. Um, to even be considered for the process, they have to admit and take responsibility for, yeah, that was me who did that. And then the officer can determine, okay, you know, they're, they're taking ownership of what they did immediately. So now we can take them to the next step and put them into the process. So in a, in a normal situation of law enforcement where someone did something and I'm going to charge them, um, oftentimes they won't take any sort of ownership for it because what are they doing? They're admitting that they did something wrong and they know they're going to be put into a court process. The restorative justice program um, impacts the victims in a much better way than the court system often does. A court system can order someone to um, to pay somebody back for damage they may have caused to their house or their property, um, and those people will get that back. But there's no there's no healing, there's no closure between the victim and the person that did the crime. I believe restorative justice fits for any sort of crime. Um, I've sent um, anywhere from petty offenses up to recently a seven or eight count felony felony adult crime. This year I had a, a crime where someone committed um, several counts of felony prescription fraud and I was I was hard on the case to find that person, locate them, identify them, arrest them on felonies and send them to jail for what they'd done. After working my case and finding my suspect and meeting with my suspect I realized this isn't that hardcore drug addicted person who needs to go to jail. It was a mother who was a choir instructor full-time, who had children, who had a very supportive family around her, from her husband to her in-laws. And I realized, oh my gosh, I don't want to assist this person in destroying their own life with a felony, several felonies. Knowing that there's restorative justice available to you, it, it gives you more options. It helps you to look at people and say, okay, this is a serious crime. Are you a serious criminal? Well, then maybe it might not work for you. Or is this a serious crime? but I don't think you're a serious criminal, then it's, it's definitely a good program to send the people through. The criminal justice system is needed, it does work, but in order to reduce crime overall, I believe statewide, we need to increase our use of restorative justice because of the impacts that it makes, the, what I believe the future criminals it takes out of the system.